Why can't we ever stop at start at zero? It, ne- it will never happen. It's not gonna happen. It's like Steve. Awesome. Cheers! Welcome to the Nook on the Voluntary Virtues Network. I'm Steve. I'm here today with Mike. Yo, Christy. Hi. Tim. Tim. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and Matt. Cheers. And uh, today I'm drinking Hop Shock IPA. It's actually really good. And it's in a can. Wow. Cans, are, cans are in right now. That's They're weird. Coming back. Cans no. are the thing. Really, fl- really floral though. taste. Uh, the hops. I, I'm floral like lavender or floral like roses. Like floral like hops. Let me taste. Like hops. <laughs> that would make sense. Hops is a flower, oh right? My God, that's good. Yeah. That's really. What is I, that? I expected it to be hoppier though, with a name like Hop Shock. But it is really still really good. It's like grapefruit. It's juice. from it's from uh, Arizona. That's really good. Actually, nice. Chandler in Arizona. It's made. So cheers to all my friends in Arizona. We'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. We will be back. <laughs> and that's not a threat. It's a promise. <laughs> Who'd you visit there? Uh, Jackalope. Oh, Jackalope. Oh. We're coming. You're coming this year. You're coming this year. <laughs> yeah, you're coming this year. Yeah. 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 I'm going. I am going. The, the, the offer of a black bag still stands. So okay. you know, there's, you know. You're going to you drag know. me there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Voluntarily, okay. of course. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the black bag, that, that's right, a euphemism. Good. We're not right, actually right, going to black bag you. <laughs> I don't think. It might be fun. We, we yeah, wouldn't admit it on camera if we will. Mike, what are you drinking? Um, never actually had before. I've seen it a number of times. It's uh, Liberty Ale. Mm. Ooh, very topical. By uh, Anchor uh, Anchor Brewing Company, or, or a lot of people might know it as Anchor Steam Brewing Company because it was uh, a brew house way back in the seventies. Shut down, and then yeah. reopened in San Francisco, right? Yeah, in San Francisco, oh, okay. and it's, so now they call it Anchor Anchor Brewing. But it's a uh, it's pretty good. It's a solid little pale ale. Can't say anything bad about it. It's it's pretty damn good. Yeah. Cheers to all our friends in San Francisco. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they are up there. They are up there. <laughs> the Bay Area in general. Yes. Christy, you're drinking your wine as usual, right? I have, yep. Yeah. With your, with, with your, my, oh, cab, not with my um, alien <laughs> scuba <laughs> diver, yes. like little thing. Where did you so get I, that? I don't know, so I don't miss my cups. <laughs> <laughs> I assumed it was like a, it was like a pro promotional thing. You don't like those little things on the bottom, so you know whose cup a, it is. Store. Nobody yeah. drinks out of my cup. Okay. Okay. Don't want to touch yeah, the alien scuba diver. Yeah. Yeah. Bad things will happen to you. <laughs> they will. Kombucha, uh, reeds. Uh, it's really good. Yeah, it's very good. Um, ginger and goji. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, it is. That's that's good. I like ginger. Good. Ginger is amazing. Good for your stomach, too. Stone's coffee milk stout. Coffee, oh my it's, god. It's not as good as it sounds. It really? Yeah. It, it sounds very good. It's it pretty does. good. I mean, it's light. It's a session. It's a session. It's What's light. It's a session. It means it's light. Oh. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not, not light flavor. as in Bud Light, it, but, yeah. but it's, it's light for good okay. beer. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's light for it's good beer. It's under 5%. 4.2%, yeah. yes. I thought I was driving. <laughs> I was like, I'll have one of these. <laughs> Wait a couple of hours and be good, but not driving, so I'm drinking plenty. <laughs> I've Christy's got driving. Yeah, that's <laughs> like, because because of a a miscommunication, we actually have a lot of beer this week. How is that a miscommunication? <laughs> Sounds like we communicated no, it, perfectly. It was a miscommunication that resulted in goodness. There you right. go. It wasn't bad communication. It happened. It, the result was good. There was Sounds no like beer. perfect communication to me. <laughs> Speaking of communication. Uh, yeah. Yes. Speaking of communication, this week we're talking about. Voluntarism yes. and how to talk to other people about it. A lot of people don't have, and you usually don't have the time to sit down and go through an entire dissertation on the geopolitical ramifications of shit. <laughs> of, of, of the world so, and everything so what's that a, goes bad and good with it. Right? So how's it going hard to narrow it down? I was I was on a roll there for a minute, <laughs> but um, Shit's good. Uh, so so we're kind of discussing this week how you can talk to somebody about your your position in short concise way. I usually just tell people I'm anti political, that I don't believe in the political process in any way. Matt usually likes to talk. A little bit more about it. 
And, and, and you talk to a lot of people at yeah. your job yes. as they come through. As a matter of fact, on on what holiday was? Oh, no, no, no. It was on. It was on the uh, election day, right? That you put up that Lysander Spooner quote yeah, that was at great. your work. Yes. And what that was, was that? pretty epic. And what was the Lysander Spooner? Quote? Let's try to not butcher this here. Paraphrasing is okay. I mean, yeah, it's, it's part of the deal sometimes. Excuse me. <laughs> oh man, I, now I got to think about this. <laughs> A man is no less a slave because he is allowed to choose a new master once in a term of years. I think I, think I got that. That was know. an exact quote. You got that it. That right. was yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Like you won the Jeopardy it. question. <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding. No, it's a really say good quote. Say it again. One more time. One more time. because it's Test really, number two. Yes, that's, okay. A man is no less a slave because he is allowed to choose a mas master once in a term of years. A new master. Yeah. Yeah. A new, new master. master. Damn it, I oh, botched it this thing. <laughs> I told you I botched it. Why aren't you listening, Christy? That's why I wrote it down <laughs> and set it up, because I botched it once, and I was like, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> it was on a three by five. And... Oh, man. But I, so, I don't think people realize that they're, they're voting for new masters. I really, they, it's just what they do, you know? They like masters. They expect masters. They, it's, it's what they do. Well, I mean, is it like, I, I've always thought about it that it's, it's not that they don't realize that they're voting for a new master, but that I, I think there, there's so much evidence, especially, I think, since 2001, just that it's so blatantly obvious about what they're doing and how they're, they're, they're going for more control that people just don't want to believe it. That they can see it, but they're just like, I can't go that extra step and admit that these are... More often, uh, more often than not, uh, bad actors and uh, you know, and people who have bad intent. You know? So, so what do you normally say to people? Um, I usually say that uh, to try to. I, I say I try to uh, explain a non-aggression principle. I, I could go on to the whole thing about you know, uh, you know, how to f form communities without the state and all that, and and kind of go that angle. But that's a long conversation. Now there's yeah a, we're talking team size. exactly <laughs> now, there, there there's there's a really big part of my personality that wants to just hand people flyers, but the thing is you hand somebody a flyer out in the middle of nowhere and they're just oh uh, you go uh, oh, yeah. yeah exactly they're gonna be like oh uh, that's that pilot. that's cool <laughs> yeah the file vertical in the, system in the, vertical file it yeah file it in the, in the trash bin but um I it, what I tell people is that I I think the the best thing for society is to live your life. Um, without um, aggressing against others and that the only way that you can really use force against other people is if either you are being aggressed against or it's imminent that you're going to be aggressed against. Like, if you think somebody's gonna fight you and you walk up and deck them in the face, that's probably not the best course of action. But if they're like, you know, they got that look in their eye and they're gonna, and they're throwing a punch at you, you have every right to, to block and do the exact same thing back to them. Like, it's, you know, it's, well, you gotta, if somebody's like trying to, you know, harm you, you have the right to defend yourself. I, I did security for a little while. Right. And our, our policies and procedures were that we did not hit people back. Our job was wow. to stop the violence. Yeah, as, door, as, wow. a door, as a doorman for a club, we were. It was basically, you know, politely communication, politely mm -hmm. ask, uh, you know, escort them out, you know, even offer, you know, a drink, free drink next time they come in, something like that, as peaceable as you can get them. And then, then it was even. It wasn't even blows. It was easy restraint. And that's what you yeah. get with yeah. private right. security. Private right. security. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, you're working for a business, and right. that business wants patrons. And if you're beating up all your patrons, yeah. they're not going to come yeah. to you. Yeah, I, I have to agree with that. I, I was I was more saying that from like an individual perspective, like somebody comes up to you on the street, you right, know, right. and starts like saying like you know. Well, they still, want, I they think want your or I think the like, quickest the quickest way, or the pe most peaceful way to of a solution is often the best one. Yeah, I, 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 it is. In, in my own life, personally, if I have to resort to violence, I feel like I failed. Yeah, yeah, no, I, you know, I, 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 I totally failed agree. to find no. the peaceful solution. I think that's you know a I mean? really great cultural shift. If we can get there, if because I know it, it, even a lot of people in the freedom movement, um, myself included, I'm I'm trying to change. I'm trying to transcend this. Is to think of ways around thinking of violence first, as even as a self-defense. I, I know yeah. you're really big on that, and it's a new thing for me. Like, oh, 
Yeah, that I could actually evolve to the next step, which is, ooh, I don't have to resort to violence. What can I do to actually so I don't have to resort to violence? And I don't know that. I'm ignorant. I really am. It's like a new I've thing. Act, I've me. actually talked people around in circles to the point where they just kind of <laughs> shake their hands, shake their head, and walk away. <laughs> that's good. That's a good thing. Uh, I, I, yeah, I that, think, that's worked pretty yeah. good. I think I should probably mention that what I, I was describing that as, and I, I should make this clear because I, I can see where people might draw certain conclusions from it. I'm not talking about an eye for an eye or a tooth for a tooth. Mm -hmm. I'm simply saying that, like, if you feel that somebody is like hell, it is hell right, bent to right, do some right. damage to yeah. you, yes. if you feel the only resort yeah. is to be able to to disable them in some way and that does neutralize result, them, neutralize, yeah. then, yes. then that that may be your only course yeah. of action. But of course, I I totally agree with what Steve was saying is that if you have to resort to violence to solve a problem, yeah. you failed there. But if that's what happens, you have the right to do that to be like, okay, this person has to stop yeah. what they're doing. And, yeah. and unfortunately, if it involves you being violent also, then it, it is what it is. But you should never be the first reaction in your head should be and like, ah, violence. And, ah, that, and, and, that's, know? and that's not to say that you don't learn how to defend yourself. You don't learn exactly. to use a weapon. You don't learn, you learn martial arts, that kind of thing. I'm saying that you learn those things in the hopes that you never have to use them. Yeah. And in the, in the mindset that you will seek out every peaceful solution first before before resorting to violence to even even in self defense if you can if you can solve it peacefully if there if you can in any way come to a peaceful solution in whatever situation you are that is optimal that's not always possible and and sometimes you do have to defend yourself because sometimes people just aren't going to listen to reason or but and a lot of times that and to me personally I feel like that if I cannot come to that peaceful solution where at least we even even if we leave mad at each other mm -hmm. as long as we're not leaving dead dead or, <laughs> or, or beat up right, or something right, because right, yeah. because let, let's be honest even if you defend yourself and yeah. and you and win, yeah, yeah. win right, you right. still haven't really no, won you, you know what i mean you exactly. still suffered yeah back to the top yeah we're <laughs> all <laughs> dun, 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 dun. here we are and back to what you're supposed to do mark, mark Massio does do a good talk on violence versus force mm -hmm. yeah um, anybody interested of course he's not those who's you know soft at heart he's uh Sounds like we might do a podcast. Yeah. Right <laughs> but anyway, next yeah, next not, not really Anyway, Matt. So since I'm the one who did go ahead and <laughs> try to bring us back. To <laughs> um, I, I think another uh, thing that you know I ask people is do you, do you, like when when you're talking to them when you tell them you don't think we need a government or anything you, you can ask them well do you think that you and I could get along plenty fine like could we come to an agreement without you know, involving any force or violence or do we, do we need a middleman? Because I feel like we've had plenty of interactions and have never needed to get anybody involved. Uh, so it, if you do that on an individual level, people understand like, hey, look, there's, there are all these people out there that I don't need to get the government involved in. When, when do you actually call the government for help? Pretty much never, right? I mean, most Pretty people. rare. Um, right, and even I've had, Those I've damn gotten, kids are playing their well, music too no, loud. No, I've gotten myself into situations with people in business deals. I haven't gotten the government involved because I don't want to get the government involved. We're dealing with it. You know, it's not pretty. It's really not pretty, but I'm... I think people are starting yeah. to realize, you know, that they're getting the, you know, the systems involved. As they get the system yeah. involved, they have oh, more troubles it's and more problems. Totally and worse. Yeah. It costs them an arm and, you know, it costs Don't them. let the person yeah. I'm dealing with see this, though. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I also like to point out that the violence among humanity has decreased exponentially over time. Maybe not exponentially, but decreased drastically over human history. And we're at, like, a, a place where... A majority of violence, I would have to say, is committed by government. I mean, look at. I most. think. I think even in the past, that's the, that's the case as well. Yeah. So I mean, it, they're a huge factor in violence along humanity, and people actually making excuses for it. And it's the whole su superstition of government that they they have rights that others don't have, and you you can get people together and create this superhuman. Deity, but it's not possible. You, you so can't. how do we explain that 
concise. Freedom is good. How do you concisely? I don't know if we can. Well, it's a complex. So I, I think thing. it also. It's, it's you know we get it. I got so it from I, her. I, I, think, I think I think one one thing Larkin Rose talked about it. Jack was okay. asking questions like when you asked when you do talk to somebody and you tell them, hey, I, I don't believe in government. I don't think we need them. Ask the person, what, well, what do you think you need the government for? Well, and those other people. Yeah, I, I mean. That's, that's a pretty common answer, yeah. Those other people, so. I, I, I may not need it, but everybody else does. Yeah, I've gotten that a few times, too. They're like, you know, oh. There's bad guys out there. And you can't do it all at once. Well, let's see. Gonna... You will just have <clears throat> chaos. Well, real quick from uh, Adam Kokesh's book, Freedom. That education works. of others starts with education of ourselves. Okay. So that's kind of I thought was you know. Interesting. No, that's good. No, definitely. Yeah, you, know, you have you to know. learn how to talk about it. So, so if, so if someone brings up like uh, other other people like that, that's why we need government. Mm -hmm. Well, how is the government going to handle it? And then if they know it, and you, you could say, well, couldn't we do that ourselves? Couldn't we handle that ourselves? Like I, I don't understand why we need somebody who would have some sort of extra. Uh, you know, step above everyone else like they claim to have. Like the they're on another will, level. will give money to the poor. So the government giving money from the poor, first they have to steal it from somebody else. Right. So that, they're that's... okay with that, though. I'm just telling you, I talk yeah. to a lot of people and they're just fine. Christy's trying to take away my <laughs> medical treatment. <laughs> I, 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 I like to kind of get so it. theft is not okay, so I don't no, care. I don't think it's okay, but they think it's okay. So and if, if the they think theft is okay, I don't care about their opinion. Yeah, but I do, because I'm, there are just I mean, people I, I, I have I to care, live with I all the care, time. I care know? at like, some level to where I could tr I, I'd like to convince them otherwise. Uh, but I, 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 yeah, I, other than that, I'm not sure how to feel about know. those people. I don't. I really don't know. I, I'm. I'm really at loss. I try not to associate with people. With you. That <laughs> is okay. <laughs> what are we creating our community? I kind of <laughs> think that uh, I've had them. We most, have our community now, Christy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think what I've had the most success success with personally. Peacekeeper. I, I can't say everybody, but what I seem to have the most success with is talking to people about the police, and the, you know, and and most people I mention like. Well, okay, so, you know, well, you know, the cops are messed up, and they'll be like, well, yeah. And I'd be like, well, don't you think it's kind of weird that just from stuff that, they'll be like, oh, yeah, cops are messed up, and I'll just throw in a, don't you think it's kind of weird that because they have a badge, they can do other stuff that we can't? And then they kind of go, yeah, and then that, that's where you get them, because all it is is that badge. They'll be like, well, where do you think they got that authority from? And, they're, and the most thing, they're, the closest <laughs> they're... Authority. Yeah, they, remember those little plastic... Uh, yeah, things that you'd hand out, yeah, you just called it authority. Yeah, you used to sell it. Yeah, you want some authority? <laughs> that was a gag I used to do at Libertopia a couple of years. I was I? I get those little toy badges from. Um, I don't know. I think I got them from dollar like store. Yeah, dollar, dollar store, dollar and store. yeah, they would just sell them for fifty cents. Like here's authority. It was kind of a joke, but um, you, you know, you say that like, okay, so if if that badge is their authority, why is it that that badge means something? And they kind of go, yeah, that doesn't make sense. And then, but because you referred it to cops and not government as a whole, most people, the most contact they have with government is usually the police. And we're talking about most of the, most of the country. Sure. It's like, you know, they come in contact with cops and go, that person somehow has authority or something. Well, you say like, oh, well, that badge. they say they do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, you know, they, you say that, well, what, what's so that badge that about? authority come from? And then they, the most they ever come up with is... They, they'll say, like, well, it comes from the government or the people. That's the most everything. The government is us, Mike. Yeah, exactly. So, so the more you kind of, like, you get at that, well, you can say, like, oh, well, it comes from the people. How did it come from the people? Well, because some... Because people think that they have authority. So, and so let me get this straight. Hmm. You, you are granting the police authority to beat you for yeah, having a plan. Exactly. Which is a, a, yeah. So you're, you're granting them a right that you yourself do not have. Doesn't make any sense. If yeah, yeah, and you, and you go not, on, you go on that angle a little bit. That works really well too. That, yeah. That's another that's really another one to point yeah. out. Yeah. If you don't have a right to do something, right. you can't give somebody else that right. right. It, it's not possible. It doesn't make any sense. You, you can't do it. That's just your preference. <laughs> oh, where's Zach? Where's Zach? We can't talk about that without Zach being here. Zach's not here. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a preference. <laughs> um, I, 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 silly, silly little preference. I think talking about that badge thing, uh, I don't know if, if anybody watching this has ever seen uh, Freedom to Fascism, but that is That's a really yeah, good documentary really good. that was yeah. done. Isn't that a book? 
Um, it was a video. Yeah, it was, it was a documentary. A I know it's a video. I don't know if it was a book. I don't know. It, yeah. it, it was a documentary mm. done yeah. uh, years ago by Aaron Russo. I want to yeah. say it was 2008 yeah. or 2009. I'm sure there's a book called Freedom to there probably There probably is. But there is a scene in there where there is a gentleman who was taken to... Maybe I'm thinking of the, war, the road to serfdom. Yeah, it maybe. And he was taken to like an IRS hearing where they, you know, they, you know, where he was asking him like very specific questions of like, where does, you know, where does your authority come from? Why is it that I have to pay the income tax? And those were the questions he had asked before he went to the hearing. And at one point, the, with a straight face, I don't know how you say this with a straight face, but the IRS agent literally pulls his badge out of his pocket, puts it down on the table and, was, and says, I was told by my superiors that my authority comes from my badge. With his straight face. And the guy's just sitting there like, so this piece of metal says yeah, that? He yeah, he literally puts his badge <laughs> on the table and says, I'm told by my superiors that my badge is my authority. Well, but it is, because people believe the badge has power. So, so it does. <laughs> this, this, this piece so of metal <laughs> told me that I can do this to you. Yeah, but we need, wow. but that's the thing. And when people wake up and say, I'm the badge isn't. I'm just going to carry a piece of shiny metal and be like, no, ooh, mine's shiny. Well, you can. <laughs> you can, and maybe people will believe well, Coins are shiny. Those, those, those cop we'll lock badges, for, for I got one of them. Yeah. I think we all have yeah, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just want a straight piece of shiny metal. Like, oh yeah, mine's shiny with no But you know priest. what? <laughs> Have you ever heard that people who walk into certain events and stuff with confidence and that they're, they're supposed to be there, get in. Because oh, people have confidence, and you know, people believe you. So if people believe- Like those guys that got, got into that Obama- Yeah, exactly, like you because you, you yeah. belong there. It's, it's, it's part of the, you know-, you know and, I've actually used that before and it works. You well, just it does walk work, in, it yeah. does work. Like, yes, it does. You're supposed, you're supposed, to, be supposed to be there. To be there then you're, so that's the whole thing around the whole authority, and you know, because people believe believe it. Here, when people he, stop believing it, that's when things will start falling apart. Here's a funny story. Speaking of badges, so um, I don't I don't know if anybody who was actually there is watching this, but it, it was a fun time for me. So um, <laughs> I I uh, was doing a uh, booth uh, for the local Libertarian Party at uh, the Grape Day Festival in Escondido, day, yeah. and uh, what I brought with me was. The badge from Cop Lock that says badges don't grant extra rights. Now this looks like a fairly legitimate <laughs> badge. It really does, unless you read. No, it, it is a it is a legitimate. Yeah, I mean it's just as legitimate as everything <laughs> else, but it's not like you know actually. By legitimate badge, it, you mean a shiny piece of metal? Yes, right. yes, it looks pretty. <laughs> but it's the same shiny piece of metal that the cops use. Yeah. So it, it just has different writing. Yeah, on Yeah, it. it says badges do not grant extra rights on it, and so I I, I worked there, you know, at the booth, and everybody. Well, I was sitting at a booth that said. San Diego Libertarian Party, so it's kind of obvious that, uh, you know, that it was a joke, but then I went over to where they had, like, a little wine garden, because it's a great day festival, and I walk, when I walk in there, and I pay for my ticket, you know, to get a couple of drinks, and every little table I went up to from different wineries, they all looked at me, like, really weird at first, they're just like, <laughs> you know, and a couple of them, like, and, you know, I already had gray hair. Did you have a badge on you? No, not now. No, no, I mean, yeah, I did. I had, yeah, I had it on me. I had it clipped on me, and so I already had gray in my beard at that time, and I got carded at every table I went to. They're just like, "Oh, can I see your ID?" And I'm just like, "Ah," and then I should just been like, (laughs) (laughs) I'd given my ID. They'd look at my ID and then look at the badge and read it, and almost uniformly after they looked at my ID, they would look at the badge and start laughing. That's and I just be like, thank you. And, uh, uh, it was a great time. So that was a couple of years ago, but yeah, you can have fun with those badges if you ever, ever want to on any given day. Yeah. If you're ever bored, just wear that around. I just felt weird wearing those badges. I just felt just weird. I couldn't wear dirty. it. It was almost dirty. <laughs> it was dirty. I tried to wear it. It's like, I can't do it. No matter how much I shine it, it doesn't get clean. <laughs> no, I, I realized badges meant nothing when I was back in the fifth or sixth grade and we were part of the safety patrol and ah, reached, everybody reaches in a box and grabs whatever. You get lieutenant, captain, or whatever. <laughs> That's what you wore. So the badge was just to show that you're a part of a unit. You got your hall monitor sash? Yeah, you can't walk here. You're supposed you to, to do class. that too, right, Matt? Yeah, only to be a dirty cop, though. <laughs> <laughs> they take our stuff away, and I'm allowed in the principal's office. Because <laughs> you're, you're part of like, the peace patroller yeah, company. I think so. he said, yeah, you sign up and be a dirty cop. They take your shit, you walk in there, and then I almost got busted one time. No! Oh. <laughs> they came in there, and they're like, what are you doing in here? And I'm like, oh, I was just... 
Checking in for the peace patrol. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess, there was an internal investigation and nothing happened, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw it, I got paid leave. <laughs> Concise um, way to um, explain voluntarism. I I, ju I still come down to just you know it, it, live your life and as long as you're not aggressing against anybody else, you're doing the right thing. You know. I think it depends on the person though. I, I think you have to ask yeah, questions. Right. Right. Yeah. If you're not asking them questions, then whatever you bring up is going to be you know a shot in the dark if they actually are concerned with it. If you ask them what they're concerned about, like why they need a government, and and you can actually. Well, what if somebody them? came up to you though and was like. They, they were mentioning some political issue, and they're like, what about you? Are you like a Republican or Democrat or what? I, I would tell them I'm a vol I would say I'm a voluntarist, and I, I don't believe in getting government involved in any issues at all. Uh, well, there you go. Yeah, and, and... Well, if they ask which what organizations you volunteer for, though. Uh, <laughs> I've gotten, yeah, I've gotten that a lot. Yeah, that's happened a couple of times, for sure. <laughs> I, I I don't normally they, they normally ask what that is because they don't right. yeah I mean it, it does look I think it's easier to mistake when you're looking at it um, like on like the internet or something but it's not a word anybody like if you're a volunteer you'd say volunteer right. you know voluntarists they're gonna ask what that means you right. know? I I usually get asked what does that mean which is nice because then you get to tell them well this is this is what I believe it's it, it's probably it's, like the term voluntarism mm -hmm. yeah. I yeah. like I, I like to say um, people. You know, anarchy oh, has a. Nah, I'm no, sorry. Don't don't you're you're good you're going you're, you're on a thought go with it you're on a thought. But go anarchy with it. has such so much baggage, mm. and well, I I kind of like the term uh, abolitionist, except for that. It has a almost black, white kind It's all, well. It's not just that. It's there's there's almost. I mean, if you, if you think of the implication. It's almost exclusively talking about government. And I'm not just against government. I'm against people aggressing yeah. against other people. So it doesn't because really do explain everything. You still want to do away with the aggressive behavior that Status. a culture... Well, that ju a culture the can... government's just the biggest gang right. in town. That's right. all. Right. Uh, yeah. On that same point, what you guys were saying, I also like to say, hey, I don't... Why are you? Why don't you believe in government? I, because I don't want to tell you what to do. I, I don't want to run your life. I don't want to vote for rules. I know what's right and wrong. I'm going to do that, and you do the same, and we'll figure this out. Well, but I, I'm okay with certain rules as long as I have agreed to them. You yeah. know? So, I mean, because a lot of people are scared. But a lot of people are scared that, oh, this, you know, mayhem. And I'm like, it doesn't mean that there's no rule, like, agreed upon rules between communities. It's just, it's just agreed upon. I was it's actually, not I, was, I was watching something that, um, I think it was a TED Talk, and it was... I didn't actually, I don't even think I finished the whole thing, but it, the, the basis of the TED Talk was talking about how uh, morals are actually evolved. It's something that, it's, mm. it, yeah, it's it actually, makes sense. Yeah. yeah, no, it's actually beneficial. It, it, things that are moral are more likely yeah. to survive. It's, right. it's going to get you further than being immoral, it's stealing, raping, killing. You're going to get more uh, people wanting to be against you, disagreeing with you, all of that. You're, no one's going to want to hang out with you or so do business. So this is just evolution. Anything. Don't the be an asshole. The freedom movement I mean, is even, evolution. Even, yes. even other, even it, boils, other... it boils down to this. Don't be an asshole. There you go. <laughs> pretty, pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> or a vagina. <Ooh>. Wait. <laughs> Speaking now of, I'm confused. Speaking of evolution and vaginas. <laughs> oh. oh. Well, you know fun. what? <laughs> So that what, so what if, what if the vagina is actually connected to a robot? Yeah. And, <laughs> and how would you speak to will, a robot about that? Yeah, how would you? How would you let the robot? And, how, how and, and if a, a ro robot and, <laughs> and if it's sentient, can you rape it? <gasps> and if you rape it, who is who who is if it's the it's victim? An android. <laughs> and the morality of robot sex. The morality of robot sex, yeah. yeah. Oh shit. I, uh, We're um, almost out of time. Well, Gosh, I don't know. God damn Next it. week. Every Next time. Week. But did you watch the last one? Every week? freaking yeah. time. If if you saw last last week's episode, we didn't actually do an interview on robot sex. So Yeah, go yeah, check we, out that interview. It's actually get, really interesting. Scott Beezer, um if you if if you're watching, I love your your little uh, 
We're gonna have to have that a comic graphic. book yeah. that you do. Graphic novel, whatever you may call it. Eh, I don't know. Graphic yeah. novel's just the grown up term. Yeah, for a comic because book. we don't want to call it a comic strip <laughs> because we feel like children or something. I don't understand where that came from, but yeah. Anyway, um, have a good one. Cheers. Cheers. Good night. Are we live? Yeah, we're live as fuck right now. It's a bowling pin. You, you guys are your alien scuba divers. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bowling pin scuba diver. Alien scuba diver. Okay. All right. Okay.